Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel, it's Hannah here. So, today is day 12 of the 12 days of Christmas, this is the last video, oh my god I cannot believe it, I'm like, how the hell, how the hell, how the hell have I got through this? <laughs> I use a palette which I don't really use that often, I feel like I have this blue blue palette and I literally never use it, but it is so pretty. So I wanna make more use out of the products that I have now. I'm inspired by Samantha because she literally is on a no buy at the moment. And it's very chatty this video. Just chill out with me. Grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's get straight into the video. Oh, bloody hell. This looks insane. Like the difference in between eyeshadow and no eyeshadow. What the hell? <laughs> So I've already got the base on this side, it's just Makeup Revolution Concealer in C5 and a little bit of CH on the lid. So we're going to be using the Jeffree Star Blue Blood Palette. Now I think that's really weird to say Blue Blood. Blue Blood. I used this in a video once before so I was like, you know what, we need some love because it's very like wintry vibes, like icy wintry vibes. So I came up with like this kind of eye. The colour we're going to start off with is Undertaker which is that really really dark colour in the corner. Using that on a Morphe M506 brush, this is my favourite brush for crease. So we're going to start off in the middle and just create that halo shape basically. I go a little bit higher than my crease as well just because where we cut it, it's a tiny bit higher than my actual um, lid. So you can see when I rest my eyes, it's a little bit higher. So I always go a little bit higher with the dark colour because you want you still want to be able to see the dark colour when you've cut it. So all I do is keep dipping in the colour and going back and forth really, really slowly. Oh my god guys, this is the last video. 12 days of Christmas, what the hell? I've been, I actually like got into, I've got into filming more, you know, doing these videos. So I have to do, I have to do a New Year's Eve look soon. But a New Year's Eve look, I always wear the same thing, it's either gold or silver glitter. I feel like Christmas is very gold glitter and New Year's Eve is very silver glitter, so we'll see what I come up with. Then we're going to go in with Blue Monday, which is that electric blue colour there. Taking that on a MAC 221 brush and a tiniest bit higher. So this is adding that blue back in because at the moment it's not very blue and I like to be like, I see, I see blue. I cannot believe how cold it is in the UK already. Like, I just don't want the rain. Although it's very windy today. I don't want it to rain. I feel like it's constantly raining. I'm loving my videos. All I do is fucking complain. I need to book holiday because that apparently stop my depression out. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just doing the same movements with a brush. Never circling it or anything because you don't want it to go too high. I'm going to take the colour blue blood out of the palette which is this one right here. I'm going to be really careful this colour. So use the tip of the brush just to go on the edges of it. Just to blend out those edges. I love that. You can see it's coming more blue now. So I'm just going back and forth as I usually would. I'm just building this colour up really, really slowly. I'm in, I'm, in a, I'm in an actually really good mood. Like, I'm actually shocked. I'm always miserable. <laughs> no, but I feel like in winter time it's just like, it's a very hard time for myself. Um, I'm using the colour Priceless, which is this like creamy colour, and we're going to use that with a any blending brush. This is just a My Kit Go one. And I'm just going to take that and just go around all the edges of that lightest colour. So basically, what this is going to do is it's going to blend it back into the skin. Because sometimes, if um, blue doesn't blend into your skin, basically, um, and when you do like an orangey look, you use yellow, which is like it's a little bit closer to skin colour. Blue on its own, it's not so close to skin, to skin colour, so you have to like kind of use a cream colour just to blend it back in. Well, that's what I do anyway, because I feel like it looks more seamless on the outer corners and stuff. And this is the part where everybody loves it. You've got to go back in with your darkest colour, medium colour, and your lightest colour again. I feel like I've taught myself to do it this way around. I forgot how to do it starting off with the light colour. But when I'm doing YouTube videos, all I'm doing is like basically sat down filming YouTube videos. So, so I feel like I need to jump around and like get rid of my energy. I feel like when I sat down for too long, I'm like, oh, no time. Oh my god, I need to actually like yawn. I'm gonna use Barry M Concealer in number two just to cut out the lid. I've got like that on my brush, and I'm just gonna pat on the outer cut like on the edge of the brush, around my shape. Why am I out of breath? 
I'm getting real now for me. I swear to God. I'll take my pinky finger and just pat the outer corner inwards. The darkest colour and then the blue Monday, the medium like bright blue out of the palette. And entitled from the palette, which is that greeny colour there. Put on the outer corner. And then I'm going to take the same brush with MAC Reflex Teal. Look how beautiful that colour is. What? Excuse me. And I'm just going to pop it on there. I'm going to go in with um, concealer. This is the Makeup Revolution concealer just underneath the eye. Look at that blue. <gasps> Live. And then for the waterline, I use Breakfast at Tiffany's by Jeffree Star. And the waterline. This is the 238 Zoe the brush, but any little detail brush. We're going to take that darkest colour in that palette. And I'm going to really underline just where we put that colour. Then I'm going to take the colour Blue Monday on the Morphe M506 brush and just buff that back and forth. Then I'm going to take Blue Blue from the palette, which is that lightest colour. And just really work it in there with that buff and blend brush. Just so it softens the edges again. So for primer today I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Pro Prime and Hydrate. This is my favourite primer of all time. I feel like it just hydrates the skin. And it leaves it nice and smooth. It feels super, super hydrating by the way guys. Like, and this is literally... I honestly think that this is a dupe for the Too Faced Balm, not the Too Faced, Too Faced Hangover Primer which is £27 and this is £7 which is a no brainer basically. And then I'm going to spray this as well, so this is the Makeup Revolution Hydro, I can't even say it, I can't, I can't say that word, but something fix, Hydro something, but apparently it's, it's got glycerin in it and it makes your makeup stay on and stick, so. So I've got the best spray ever. So then the foundation we're going to be trying out today is the Fenty Beauty um, Hydrating Foundation. Can't remember what it's called, but I've got 255, that's the colour I've got. I think I'm going to use a sponge though to put it on because I feel like if I use a makeup brush it's not going to look the same. But apparently this is medium coverage, so we'll see how it reacts to our skin. And hopefully it doesn't oxidise because I haven't tried this foundation ever. I love how warm that colour is. It's like proper like... Wait, it's not warm, is it? It's um, what, what I mean is like yellow golden tone. Tone basically. Um, when I worked at Mac, yellow and cool were two different things. Cool was yellow, and yeah, and then warm was pink. So it's very confusing. Um, it's very golden tone. That's what I mean. I knew when Fenty Beauty came out with the first foundation, I wouldn't like it because it it was claimed to be really really matte, and I was like, yeah, I don't like matte at all. I feel like it makes my skin look really cakey. Um, I am combination skin, which is like. Oily in your T-zone and dry everywhere else or whatever anywhere else. So I'm a bit of combination. I do get eczema on my eyelids in the winter if I'm stressed. So do you ever take a wipeout and it always brings out like two or three? And I'm like, I wanted one. And I have to use two. I'm gonna wipe that on the inner corner there because it's literally like blue, and I don't want blue in a corner eyes. Concealer. I'm gonna use. I don't know. I'm gonna try to use the Barium concealer. I went in shade 2 and that's really light. Mm, I'm going to get a little bit of C8 as well by Makeup Revolution and mix it in. So I want C5 goes pink on my skin for some reason. I'm using the Soft Definer by Zoeva. Just that on the brush. And I'm just going to put it in the inner corners here where it's like missing a little bit. I'm not trying to mix it in with the blue. I don't want bloody blue eyes around that area. That looks nice. I'm quite happy with myself. Right. I'm going to use the foundation stick. L'Oreal foundation stick. Um, they don't do this anymore. Um, I'm very sad about that. So I'm trying to find it online somewhere in the colour 210. And it's the infallible stick by L'Oreal. So if you see it online let you go now because I don't want to pay a ridiculous amount for it just because it's been discontinued. But I don't know if it's been discontinued or not. This is just a peaches and cream 
brush, I think it's the PC25, yeah. But I feel like it's a really nice shape just to do cream contour because it's not too big. And again when I say cream contour, you know what I mean, I mean cream bronzer. So this to me ain't contouring because I don't want a grey colour. I've been obsessed with Burner Boy recently, the album from 2017 I think, which I know it's really really old but oh my god, we've got some great tunes on the album. I'm so late to music sometimes, you know when I'm listening to a song, like if it's just if it's just an Apple Music playlist, like an R&B one or a hip hop one or R&B slash hip hop or rap or whatever it is. Um, oh that's going a little bit weird there. It comes up with like the most like newest music and then sometimes it's like really old songs or three years ago and I'm like oh it's a new song but obviously it's a new song to me if I hadn't heard it. So I'm like oh my god I love this and I found out it was 2017 I was like oh. I like sometimes a song will come on and I'm out and I'm like I love this song but I have no idea what it is and then today I just found out the other day it's by Burner Boy and I'm like oh my god so I'm listening to it on repeat obviously does anybody else do that listen to songs on repeat I'm guilty so the powder we're going to be using is the Studio Fix NC30 I don't like to swirl it on I like to literally just tap it on so I'm just literally tapping it on so I feel like if I swirl it too much it will move my foundation if I'm just tapping it it'll stay in place. Now I'm not going to bake today, instead I'm going to use it on this little brush. I'm using the Beauty Bakery powder, obviously, in translucent and I'm just going to take a tiniest bit of it and just press it underneath the eye. I just like how it gives that really nice matte effect underneath the eye. I feel like an under eye should be really really nice and matte. And it also helps my eyeshadows blend in underneath. Like the bronzer by MAC, Mineralized Skin Finish, Dark Golden. This is my absolute baby. I'm running out of it. You can see I've hit pan. I just love it so much. And I'm going to go straight over that cream bronzer. This is a MAC 135 brush. I feel like I need to still change up my makeup routine now. I have recently changed it up, but I feel like I need to... I feel like I need some more blushes. Some more bronzers. I've bought two bronzers this month though, so I need to calm down. Um, yeah, some more blushes, a loose highlighter that's not too expensive. I've heard of good ones, but I'm like, mmm, £21 for a loose highlighter. I'm like, can I do that if I don't know if I'll love it? If I love it, it's a different story, but I don't know if I'm going to love it or not. Doll Beauty, Doll Give Me Sun in Medium Deep. This is one of my new loves. Look how caramelly that looks, though. Mm. I'm just going to pop that in there. I'm being really soft though when I'm putting this on because it is really pigmented, this bronzer. Oh, that. I don't know, I whisper all the time to myself, I'm like, oh yeah. Ooh. Oh my god, I was on set for Beauty Bay. So we, I've worked for Beauty Bay before. Um, and I remember we did doing this set and the photographer remembered me. She went, oh, you're that girl, aren't you? And it goes, ooh, yeah. And I'm like, ooh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. And so like, I just like... I make very strange noises. Um, and then I'll blur. I'll blend that into my um, eyeshadow a bit because I like to look it, like it to be a little bit bronzy. What is wrong with my bloody mouth today? I can't get the words out. Oh my god, my nose. Ooh. This is the Primark Hydrate Spray, four pounds. If you come by it and you like to look right, really nice and hydrated, rather than. There's a glow spray, but I feel like it just spurts out glitter at you sometimes. I don't know, but I like this one. Wait, my, where's, my, where's my fan? I need my fan. It dropped on the floor, obviously. Notice as well, my middle part is like in centre. I need to put it in centre marks, it goes to one side still, but I'm loving this middle part in. So, blusher. Oh, I look nice and glowing now, don't I? I don't know if I'm too close, I'm like, hello. <laughs> I'm going to use the Morphe M500 brush, as per usual, and I'm going to use MAC Just a Pinch Extra Dimension Blush. So this basically just gives a bit of a glow to the skin and a little bit of warmth, which we want. Normally I would put like a pinky colour with blue, but I feel like I want a little bit of warmth still to the skin. I always put a little bit more blush on than I need because when we put the highlight on, it kind of takes it away a little bit. So then I'm going to use, if you can guess, Doll Beauty, Shine Bright, obviously. And then I'm going to use this as a Weaver fan brush as well. This is the best fan brush I've ever used. Like, I've used the Morphe one and I've used another one, but I just feel like this fan brush 
is like no other. Oh, look at those glossy cheeks. A little bit of nose. Just a little bit. The brows. I don't really do much on my brows. I'm going to be using the Primark Brow Pencil in them today. You know what I'm like, guys. If you watch my channel before, I don't really put too much in my brows. I have to just skip through them. I always make this frowning face as well and do my brows. Don't even ask. I feel like I mix it flat on my brows so it's easier to fill in. Why am I so tired of all of a sudden? I think it's because I've got no music on, you know. If I do my makeup, I've got music on. I feel like I'm all pumped up. I'm like, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I'm, I try so hard now in my videos to sound a little bit clearer when I'm talking because and then I, what I do is I'll stutter instead. I'm like, ah, lovely. So I'm trying to talk more clearer in my videos, guys. I will always have a Yorkshire accent, unfortunately. Do you know what? I love the Yorkshire accent, but then on me I feel like, why do I sound like a boy? <laughs> I don't want that at all. And the Yorkshire accent comes out more when I'm with my friends and when I'm drunk. Like when I'm drunk, I'm literally like, ha 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 me. I'm like, ooh. Ooh. Hannah, calm down. Oh, I want to have a really posh, elegant accent, but that isn't going to happen. And I'm just putting MAC 4 slash Maximizer through my brows, as per usual. I'm getting my bloody lash. This is how long these lashes are, guys. Oh, the... I don't know what you guys think about the TL Mitchell 2 lashes from Tiny Lashes. I recommend these over the number 2s just because these are wearable. I don't think the ones are... I honestly don't think the number 1s are that wearable. Unless you've got a huge eye, like a bigger than me kind of thing. Um, but they're good for like makeup photos. So I feel like, you know you see some P. Louise looks and they look insane. Like, oh my god, they look sick. And then my friend was like, yeah, they do, do look insane and sick, but like... In person, they look absolutely crazy. Not in a bad way necessarily, but like I would not wear that out anywhere. I'm like, yeah, true. I wouldn't go on a night out looking like this unless it was like a, a carnival or something. Do you know what I mean? Like a rave or something. I would not go out on a night out with this on because I just don't. I like something nice and smoky and bronzy. <laughs> I haven't told you what this is, have I? It's um, the Morphe Lip Pencil in Bite Me. This is exactly the same as Cork by Mark, so save your money, guys. Save your money. And I'm going to fill it in a little bit as well. I'm going to take the Primark lipstick in the colour Naked. This is beautiful. And you can't really go wrong with these lipsticks. They're literally pound fifty. Okay, oh my god. Yes. Okay, and we are done. So this is the completed look. What are we thinking? Let me know in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video of me just basically talking crap, <laughs> like usual. Um, no, I like to be more chilled in my videos sometimes. I've really enjoyed filming it today. I don't know why I've been so like up and down throughout this video though. I was like, Really like, hee, I've got so much energy. Yeah, I'm gonna do makeup. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't be asked. I need to go to sleep. Ugh. My, mood, my mood swings are just like uncontrollable. If you liked this, look in the comments below. Like I said, give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. Want more videos like this? Give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to me, go down below and click that red button. It just takes one second out of your day and I would appreciate it so, so much, guys. And yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this tutorial. Had some fun. If you recreate it, tag me on Instagram. It's blend by hand, same on here. So, yeah, this is the last video of the 12 days of Christmas. I hope you guys have been enjoying all these videos. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you want to see next on my channel, and I'll get back to you guys. And I shall see you in my next video. Bye.